Bombay House. This is a simple looking head office of the Tata Group in Mumbai, India. But Tata Group is anything but simple. Started as a small trading company by Jamshed Ji Tata in 1868, Tata Group now has more employees than Toyota, Coke, Facebook, Microsoft, and Google combined. It now operates in over 100 countries. So let's tighten our seat belts and take a world tour to witness the remarkable business empire of Tata Group. Our first stop is North America. Here Tata Group owns the luxury hotel Taj Campton Palace in San Francisco, Taj Boston, and one of the world's finest and New York's iconic hotel, the Pier. Tata Steadley Tea is the second largest tea company in US and largest in Canada. They also own popular brands like Good Earth and America's third largest coffee company. 8 o'clock coffee Tata's IT service company TCS operates 24 offices in North America and while their animation and design lab Tata Elixi also operates in 8 plus locations in the region In manufacturing sector the group operates a soda ash mining company in Wyoming iron ore mining company in Quebec Canada steel manufacturing facilities in Ohio and Pennsylvania and also a coffee production plant In all, Tata Group employs over 20,000 people in North America, about three times more than how many people Microsoft employs in India. Now let's travel to South America. PCS employs more than 8,000 people in eight countries in South America. The group is also an investor in the first submarine fiber cable network between US and Brazil. Tata has also owned world's largest subsea fiber cable network. Today. 25% of world's internet routes travel over Tata's subsea networks. From South America, let's travel to Africa and land in the port city of South Africa, Cape Town. Here, Tata Group owns the historic luxury hotel Taj Cape Town. In nearby Zambia, they own Taj Pamodzi, one of the most luxurious hotels of the country. Tata's also operate two wind farms in South Africa. and a hydroelectric power project in Zambia. The group also owns Jokels, South Africa's third largest tea company. Tata Trucks and Buses are one of the top sellers in Zambia, South Africa, and Kenya. In manufacturing sector, Tata owns a chemical plant in Magadi, Kenya, which is Africa's largest soda ash manufacturer. Commercial vehicle assembly plant and a steel plant in South Africa. and finally a manufacturing and a power plant in Mozambique from Mozambique we will move to London Buckingham Palace queen's official residence close to the palace tata's own the luxurious taj 51 buckingham gate suites the hotel also has the world's first jaguar suite for all the jaguar lovers nearby the st james court hotel is also owned by the group Tata Steadley is the largest tea company in the UK. Their other European tea brands include Vitex, a popular brand in Poland, Jemka, the market leader in Czech Republic, and Grand, a coffee brand in Russia. Tata Steel is one of Europe's largest steel maker and TCS has been awarded as the best employer in Europe. Jaguar Land Rover is also owned by Tata's. and is the largest manufacturer of premium vehicles in Britain. The group also operates design centers in London and Paris and one of the world's largest e-learning company in UK, Germany and Switzerland. Tata employs around 60,000 people in Europe and is also UK's biggest industrial employer. To end it all, Tata's also own a relatively small company called British Salt in the UK. An Indian company owns British Salt. Quite ironic if one remembers Gandhi's Salt March carried out against the British Raj only 88 years ago. Now let's travel all the way to Sydney, Australia. Here in Sydney, TCS began its first operations in Australia, and now the company operates across Australia and New Zealand 
with over 10,000 employees and clients like Qantas, Telstra, and Commonwealth Bank. Tata's also own popular Australian coffee machine brand Map and operate data centers across Australia through their partnership with Next DC. The group also holds stake in Carborough Downs coal project in Queensland, Australia. Finally, we have reached Asia. Let's start in the desert sands of the Middle East. Tata's Range Rover is one of the most sought after four wheel drives in the region. Tata Motors is also a leader in the medium and heavy commercial vehicle segment in GCC countries. While TCS has multiple offices in the Middle East, including an all women IT services center in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. The group also owns Titan, Titan Watches, our leading brand in Oman and Bahrain. They also own logistics company in UAE and the luxurious city hotel Taj Dubai near popular landmarks like Palm Jumeirah. Finally, Voltas, Tata's leading air conditioning brand, has completed major mechanical and air conditioning projects that include Burj Khalifa, Dubai, international airports in UAE and Bahrain, Ferrari Experience, and F1 race track in Abu Dhabi, Southeast Asia. From deserts of UAE, we will move to South Korea. Here, Tata owns South Korea's second largest heavy commercial vehicle manufacturer, Tata Devu. In Singapore, Tata's steel plant is the largest single cut and bend steel operations worldwide, while the group is also the largest producer of long steel products in Thailand. Tata's also own stake in oil and gas blocks and coal reserves in Indonesia and are developing power generation projects in Myanmar and Vietnam and even operate a life sciences research company and own plantations in Singapore and Indonesia. Even Tata's Voltas has executed engineering projects like New Hong Kong International Airport and Cyberport Business Park in Hong Kong, China. Here TCS has six global delivery centers, Tata's own two rolling mills, a refractories factory an auto parts factory, green tea manufacturing plant, and also have a Jaguar Land Rover assembly plant. We have reached South Asia, the beautiful and scenic Maldives. Here we will find the lush Taj Coral Reef with white sands and scenic view. Moving ahead to Sri Lanka, Taj owns the picturesque Taj Bentota and two more hotels in Colombo. Tata's also provide telecommunication services in Nepal and Sri Lanka and have even deployed a hydro project in Bhutan. After our long world tour, we have finally reached India. Here, TCS is the largest Indian company. TCS becomes the first Indian company to hit $100 billion in market cap. Tata Motors is a leader in commercial vehicle segment. Titan Company is India's largest manufacturer of branded watches. Tata has also run largest jewellery store chain Tanishk. While their Tata Power is India's largest integrated power company, Tata's also own steel plants, tea plantations, automobile manufacturing units, chemical factories, and even own mobile networks and DTH company Tata Sky. Not only that, they operate airline Vistara and also manufacture defense helicopters and equipments. Even Starbucks in India is jointly owned by the Tatas. Tata has not only created a massive business empire, but also multiple social institutions like cancer treatment centers, mathematics and science research institutes, and also the first planned industrial city of India, Jamshedpur. 66% of the group shares are held by a charity trust. Across the world, the company has been involved in multiple social programs. Tata is truly an incredible company and has traveled a long way from Mumbai to be now present all across the world. All I can say is, this is Tata's business empire.